many many people who begin to like come to gr grips with the Jewish roots of the Christian faith often struggle with the idea that Jesus is none other than yod heh vav -Hey, Almighty God, come in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Though they might accept the idea that Jesus was the Jewish Messiah, they seem to have trouble with the idea that God has a son, mm -hmm. and therefore struggle with the idea of the Trinity, mm -hmm. or the triune nature of what we call the Godhead. The idea of the Trinity, however, is clearly implied in the scripture. We see God as defined as one, <laughs> yet expressing himself, expressing himself mm -hmm. in different persons, mm -hmm. in, in different formats. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. And I think this falls on the heels of many have come from the cults into a saving relationship with the Messiah? Sometimes, I'll, I'll tell you where a lot of the confusion is, is coming from. Um, it seems to be from the, the very Jewish standpoint of Ahad, mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Well, that's correct. But what happens is people go, well, it's only one. So how can it be three? And mm -hmm. in the, the, the Jewish side of it, because Christians, for the most part, don't understand mm. the Trinity, mm -hmm. they're like, no, it cannot be three people. Like that. Like the church looks at it. And they're right. Mm. But it's still three. Mm -hmm. It's still it's still. A trinity, mm -hmm. but it's not three, three gods. It's not three separate gods. And you know, for me, where this was very, very helpful, because all my life, I mean, all my life, I was always so confused. I mean, I'd hear a teaching on this, or teaching on that, la, la, la. And I'm like, well, who am I supposed to pray to? <laughs> and, well, Jesus is the friendly guy, right? So I always liked praying to him, and... And then it was like, well, wait a minute. Maybe I'm supposed to pray to the Holy Spirit. Maybe I'm supposed to... Wait a minute. Is it Jesus? Wait a minute. And so I was confused about this all the time. Because praying to the Father with this concept of... He's probably going to hit you with a stick. <laughs> if you don't line up just right. I'm not so sure I want to be talking to him. <laughs> he might not want to answer me, but the nice guy who died for me? Yeah, probably so. So, you know, I struggled with mm -hmm. uh, what is the correct way to pray. And but these aren't new issues, by the way. No, they're not. And these are issues. It's an issue that a lot of people have. Then I came to the realization, yeah, whatever, that what Jesus himself said mm -hmm. was, I'm the door to the Father. You have to come through me. So anyway, the things that we're going to be talking about tonight mm -hmm. are really going to help clarify mm -hmm. some of this for you. And call. you know, Marcion in, you know, in the early church period, he caused a lot of problems, but he did bring something to light. And that is that there is a bit of confusion uh, for New Testament, if you will, believers in the person of the father uh, compared to the person of the son. Mm -hmm. And then people have come out of the cults and the cults have mixed up ideas on, on who the Messiah is and who the Father is and deity and all those different issues. So this is going to be very timely for us to be able to really plant stakes and, and build a tent, put the tent in to where it's not going to just fall over with any wind of doctrine that comes mm -hmm. of, of uh, these basic concepts. So let's look at the very first verse of the Bible. But this time, let's look at it with fresh eyes. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1, starting at verse 1. What a great place to begin. It says this, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. So, the very beginning of the Torah, Genesis 1, 1 and 2, speaks about the creative activity of Elohim. That's the key Hebrew word used for God, and the presence 
of the Spirit, or the Ruach HaKodesh, or the Spirit actually of Elohim. Ruach Elohim is what it says in the Hebrew. Uh, and by the way, if the Spirit of God isn't God, then the question is, who is he? <laughs> okay. So already there's two parts of God, if you're counting, just in the creation epic. Have you ever asked yourself, Who's doing the narration during creation? <laughs> Isn't the narrator the word of God? So that's three, right? Okay. So you can see that even in the very beginning of the biblical text, we have God being expressed in the form of three persons, yet one. If you enjoyed this clip, please feel free to check out the full version in the link located in the description panel below. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, help yourself to the diverse array of teachings located on this YouTube channel or on our website at glc.us.com.